What's going on everybody, my name is CD and today I want to talk about how Warzone can improve and really what they can do to keep Warzone the big BR that it is right now. So a lot of this video is just going to be opinions and thoughts from my point of view on how I currently view Warzone and how I view the Call of Duty scene. When Warzone dropped, me and some of my friends kind of grinded out Warzone, played it nonstop. It's all we did. We had a ton of fun, but after a couple months of that, it really kind of died off for us. And for me personally, this was bad timing because Warzone streams, content creation videos is just popping off right now. Some Twitch and YouTube streams are just blowing up. YouTube videos are the highest like I've seen in a Call of Duty in quite a while. But for me personally, I just don't have the drive to continue playing Warzone. And I want to go over a few different things that they could do to kind of get me back into Warzone. And this may be true for other people as well. The first thing, something pretty small, is interactive camos. So this is something that I'm not sure why they just haven't done in Modern Warfare in general, where the, I guess, coolest camo that you can get without paying for is Damascus, arguably, maybe Obsidian. But that is the biggest camo you can get in the game, the most time you can put into a camo, and it's not even interactive. It's just a static camo. Now, in previous games, we've had Dark Matter, where it actually moves on your gun and actually looks pretty cool. And in this game, we just have Damascus, which is honestly kind of a letdown. So interactive camos, and this kind of also goes into my second point, is they need to add or they should add more challenges or something to work towards while playing Warzone. In my opinion, there's really nothing that you can work towards from game to game in Warzone. You kind of just queue up, you play your game, which can take 30, 40 minutes, you then win or lose, and that's really the end of it. There's nothing to add on to or work towards from game to game. And this, in my opinion, is kind of an issue in a lot of BRs. That it's really more of a casual play with friends game but the repetitiveness of kind of doing the same thing over and over and over without working towards anything kind of loses its edge after a while so if they could add some sort of challenges or something to work towards that you could unlock camos or something you could show off I think that would get a lot of people back into it and actually being able to kind of grind Warzone a little bit more. Well, right now, the only reason people that I see are grinding the game is to get better, which is a great reason. But once you kind of plateau, there's not much else to do. There are a lot of what they call bot tournaments or bot hunting tournaments out there right now where you go into a game with two or three either quads or trios and then you're trying to get the most amount of kills as compared to other teams and those are fun and interesting but again that's like a third party thing and that's actually nothing to do with modern warfare itself and in my opinion this is something that the community has kind of created to make the game a little bit more interesting and this kind of goes into my last point which is some sort of ranking system now modern warfare has really dropped the ball on any sort of ranking system in multiplayer, Warzone, what, whatever it may be. And the ranked playlist in multiplayer is pretty sad with it not even having a ranking system and it just being the quote unquote competitive rule sets. And it's just random and it it's no fun to play. But my idea kind of takes from the H1Z1 ranking system, if you guys remember that BR back in the day, really one of the initial good BRs in my opinion. And they had a pretty decent ranking system that actually spanned from game to game. So you actually had something to work towards, something to play towards. Now I'm not sure how they would implement this throughout, let's say the solos, trios, maybe duos in the future and squads. Maybe there's separate ranking systems for each game mode, but there needs to be, in my opinion, something to work towards something to show off your rank or kind of how much you've played and how much you've worked towards in the game. Now this could be something like your top 10 best games taking into account placement and kills or something along those lines that's kind of what H1Z1 did and then the better your top 10 games are that season the higher ranking you are something along those lines really just something right now there is absolutely nothing so we can only go up from here now sadly i don't think they're going to do any of these things i think they're going to keep it as probably a casual br i mean that's just kind of how it is and sadly they do have skill-based matchmaking in Warzone no matter how much they try to deny it and that really kind of ruins the game as well. And it'll probably go in a similar life cycle like other BRs have, like Fortnite has, like H1Z1 has, like Apex Legends has, and very similarly how Blackout did. So Blackout is obviously the closest game mode to Warzone and that one was very similar for me where it was fun for the first couple months and then it was very repetitive. They didn't really add anything too big to the actual gameplay and it kind of died off. Hopefully we don't see that with Warzone, but as we've seen with Modern Warfare, with the multiplayer throughout the year, it doesn't look too good. 
these are all the points that I've been thinking of over the past little bit. I'm just not really into Warzone right now. I've been playing a lot of Valorant, a lot of other games to kind of keep that competitive edge. Hopefully they do add stuff to Warzone to kind of spice it up a little bit. If you guys have any other ideas, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to click that like button sub if you guys have not already. We'll see you guys later.